is just going to repaint some outdoor decorations. Uh, don't throw it, throw these away just because you know you're down to the raw um, base. You can repaint these and you don't have to be talented or crafty or anything like that. Uh, this is a black bear. I'm going to give him a little bit of highlights, but we're going to start out painting the entire thing black. So we're just going to squirt some paint on him. And bring him back to life a little bit. You can use these sponge uh, or you can use paint brushes. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're not really doing any of the edge work right now. So just get the paint in there on your first coat. Like it doesn't matter to me that some of the black from the bear uh, got off onto the tree, for example. You just want to get a good coat on there. Then you'll go back and start cleaning everything up. He already looks better. Now I'm not going to make you watch me paint the whole thing. I will be back as soon as I get this base coated black and I'm going to base coat this in brown. Hey guys, raining outside so we moved this indoors. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to base coat this in my brown color. We'll come back later and we'll add, you know, highlights and things like that. But right now, we just want to get the brown on. And we want to start cutting in around his little paws there. Okay, uh, whenever I base coated him black, I didn't care to, I wanted to make sure I got down in the grooves. So now I'm going to come in and just get a little bit of cleanup done. It isn't going to have to be perfect because we're going to come back in and add more color on the bark. So it's okay if if it's not perfect right in here. We do just want to clean it up a little though. I did switch to a paint brush for this part instead of the sponge just because it's a lot narrower. And I can get a little more detail with a brush than I can the sponge. Okay, so I kind of cut in just a little bit around through there. Let's cut some more at the bottom here. And really just don't sweat it. If you do get on the bear, you just go back over the bear with a little bit of black to clean him up. It's not a big deal. And so like I said here, I'm just going to be base coating this brown. I won't make you watch me do all of that. I'll come back when I have him, uh, when I have the stump finished in brown. I see some spots on him. I need to go ahead and put a little more black on. 
once we get those two base coats down, I'm going to bring you back and we're going to just highlight the fur a little. We're going to make it look a little more like bark than just a solid brown piece. Okay, so you I'll can be see back. He here. is solid black, solid brown over here. And um, what we want to do now is just give them a little bit of highlight so they're not just solid colors, although they would be cute this way. Um, what I've done is put a little bit of um, gray paint down, and I'm barely going to get any on the brush. Now I'm going to take it to a paper towel and just kind of wipe it off. Now this is not as stiff a brush as I would like, but I'm, it's what I have, so we're going to see if we can make it work. Okay, you don't want to really get in there like you do when you're painting. You really just want to drag this brush over the highlights here to try to give him a little bit of a... Just a little bit of color start popping up on the top. Don't worry if it looks like it's too heavy in places. When the brush is stiffer, it's a lot easier to work with. This is very, very soft. And then I just go back to the paper towel and try to pick up a little more that's already on there instead of getting more paint. You can see he already looks better than just solid black. Now what I'm going to do is pick up another color. This is a, uh, I think it's called Burnt Umber. It's a really dark brown. But I'm going to take most of that off just like before. I'm going to go over it again. Now this is drying almost immediately because of how very little you're, you're putting on the brush. Now I just want to keep layering colors until I get the look that I like. I may even have to go back over it with some black to knock down some of the color. But this is how you can, um, how you can get more of a dimensional look to your to your yard ornaments because rarely are they going to be smooth even if they are you can still do this technique you're just going to put uh, it's almost like smearing it on in places you know but I'm going to continue to work with this um, now before I let you go though I'm going to bring you over here to the wood I am going to use the darker shade of brown okay same scenario just taking some of the paint off so it's a little bit dry and this has a lot of grooves in it you know that's supposed to look like bark oh down here's a little bare print I will go back and fill that in solid black but right now we're just going to kind of hit the high spots up here There's no right or wrong, guys. Okay. It's just whatever look you're going for. You can make it as heavy or as light as you want. And I'm going to go back with the same black paint here. And I'm going to go inside these letters where it looks like it has been engraved. You can do that with a stiff, uh, small brush. I do have one in here. Or you could use a Q-tip or something like that. Okay, that's some more paint.
Now I'm going to get a little bit of black paint. Since I painted this really light, I'm going to be using darker colors to get my bark look. So I'm going to mix that. Not just use, I like just the dark umber, but I am going to use a little bit of black as well. I'll get in those little corners. There. But you can see how building the different colors, uh, depending on how dry your brush is, on how heavy the paint's going to go on. But we're just going to continue this. Okay, I won't make you watch me dry brush all of this. Okay guys, I got him finished, brought him out and put a coat of sealer on him, and he's getting ready to go to the front yard. Oh, and I just noticed I didn't paint his little paw beside the word welcome, but that's okay. This year, maybe it won't be a little black paw in there after all, <laughs> but that's okay. I just wanted uh, you to see him completed, so you can see he's not... At first glance, he looks black, but he's not actually. If you look inside his ears, I left them with a lot of umber. The same as in his mouth and around his little face, uh, or around his mouth, I should say. And then just here and there on him, you can also see a little bit of gray peeping through. Just a little bit of umber, but he's mostly a black bear, which is what I wanted. Alright guys, so I hope you don't throw away all of those little things you have out in your yard when they start fading. That you'll just grab, you know, a 50 cent bottle of paint at Walmart in the craft department. Get you two or three colors and just repaint it. Have a great week guys. Bye.